Hey, New Hope, it's Pastor Austin here. It's great to see you. I hope that everybody is doing well and staying healthy. Uh, just going to bring the daily word of encouragement here. And I just wanted to share something that's been on my heart, something that uh, I feel personally challenged in, and, and that's just in the area of worship. Now, I know that right now we're in unique times. We're spread all throughout the city and the greater Des Moines area, and we're worshiping in our homes, and hopefully you enjoyed Easter's uh, presentation and uh, the gospel and the worship from start to finish. Uh, there's a lot, lot of uh, great feedback from that, and if you haven't watched that, you need to watch that. You can find that on the YouTube channel. Um, but one thing I noticed when my family was watching Easter service, I found myself watching and not participating. Now, some of that could have been the fact that we have three littles and uh, parents with three young kids understand how difficult it is to be engaged when you've got people pulling at your pant legs, asking a whole bunch of questions. Um, but I never want to use that in, as an excuse as to why I didn't enter into worship. And uh, one of the things that I fear uh, in our society and in the culture that we live in, particularly cult church culture, is that we rely too much on feelings and the atmosphere uh, to be created before we enter into worship. When the Lord says, bring a sacrifice of praise, um, you know, that could be seen as saying, like, even when you don't feel like it, you need to praise me and you need to worship me. And Psalm chapter 20 talks about God inhabiting the praise of his people. And uh, that is something that I've experienced in so many different places. I'm sitting currently right now in my truck and uh, I just, I think of so many times where I have been so overwhelmed by the presence of God while I'm worshiping by myself in my vehicle. And I'll have the music up loud and I'm just singing at the top of my lungs as if the Lord was just right in the passenger seat. And you can just sense God's presence. And it's almost just like, you know, the Holy Spirit goosebumps just comes and it hits you. And it's just uh, an amazing time. And I know that a lot of people have commented and said, oh, I can't wait until we can worship together again. I can't wait until we can get back to church. And I'm right there with you. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that day. But I also don't want to so look to the future of an experience that I miss out on an experience that God has for me now. And I believe that God wants to encounter you and inhabit your praise wherever you might be, whether that's in your car or your bedroom or in your living room or in the shower or in the bathroom, wherever God speaks to you and, and, and you can enter into a time of worship. I just want to encourage you to do that. I, I think of someone uh, memorizing a script for a play. And, and I think like, if they cannot recite their lines by themselves in an empty room, then what would make them comfortable in reciting lines in front of an entire audience in a live performance? And I think much in the same way, your ability to enter into worship on Sunday mornings at a, in a corporate gathering depends on your ability and you are training yourself now to enter into a time of worship by yourself. So do you depend on other people to worship for you to enter into worship? And so I, I never want to have an excuse in my heart, in my way of thinking. Um, I want to invite God's presence wherever I am. And so uh, that's my challenge for you today. And I hope that you'll take it up. Uh, to take me up on it, and I hope that you guys will become worshipers and express that. Express it in in words, outward words, and in and, and outward expression, and lifting our hands, and maybe falling to our knees in a, a moment of surrender um, and reverence. And so, God bless you, and I hope you have an amazing Tuesday. We'll see you next time.